shift. I see there's an excitement about learning. The teachers are excited to try new things. The students are really uh, thrilled to tell you how they learn. And, and it's that, you know, what we call that meta-awareness, that metacognition, that we're teaching students, no matter their age, whether they're young or adult, to reflect on how do you learn best and how can I, as a teacher, or a principal or a consultant, how can I facilitate that learning? And it's that metacognition that I think makes the difference. It, our students are able to reflect on what works for them or maybe what doesn't work so well for them and be flexible. And if they can tap into that, then it really opens up a lot of doors. So I've seen people become really excited again at the thought of, I'm here to learn a new language, I'm here to learn a subject, but I'm going to do it in a way that makes sense for me. And so it, it takes that drudgery and that sense of this is the way it has to be done. We all learn the same way. When in fact, we know that's not true. We all learn differently. And, and it's been really exciting to see teachers and students come away with this new zeal for trying things differently and also being able to fail. We know learning comes when we take a risk and sometimes it doesn't work out. We learn from that too. So it's not about saying, okay, everyone's going to go from a traditional desk to everybody work standing up. I mean, that defeats the purpose. It's about for some kids, that works. For some adults, that won't work. For some learners, they would like to you know, try it and then maybe move on to something else. And it's, it's that ability to test drive things that I think makes people excited for learning.